So we've heard that when a body moves through a viscous liquid or fluid, and that could be a liquid or a gas, that there is a, a, a drag force that uh, it experiences, a sort of resistance force to its movement. And that really is friction that's trying to slow the object down. So here we have a steel ball which is dropped from rest in a viscous liquid. And this could be something called glycerin, which is a sticky liquid. And viscous means uh, a liquid, for example, which doesn't flow very well. So, for example, imagine a swimming pool of honey. That would be very viscous and quite difficult to, um, to wade through. So at first, the steel ball, well, it, it has been acted on by gravity, a gravity force which we call weight and that will accelerate the ball downwards. So it will accelerate, accelerate due to the force of gravity. Due to the force of gravity. And as the ball moves faster, well, as a body moves faster through a fluid, a viscous fluid, then it's going to bump into the particles of fluid more and more, and so that drag force is going to increase. So an increasing drag force acts in the upwards in the upwards direction i.e. in the opposite direction to the ball's motion and that's what friction does remember it tries to slow objects down now as it gets faster and faster the drag force on the ball the drag force will increase and it will eventually balance the weight of the ball and it will move at a constant speed at a constant speed and this constant speed is called its terminal velocity terminal an L velocity and it's what happens when a, a body that's moving through a liquid oops let's get a different color there shall we let's get there we are. So here's a, here's a ball which is falling through a liquid. It's got a weight force which stays constant. The ball doesn't go on a diet or anything as it falls. So it's always got the same weight. And as it gets faster, our upwards drag force will increase until it is the same size as the, the weight. And when this happens, there is no winning force. They are balanced forces. And we say that the resultant, the resultant force is zero. There's no winning force. And so therefore, there can be no acceleration. It must be moving at a constant speed. Constant speed. And we call that the terminal velocity. Terminal velocity.